Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Treacle, and the next movie review I have for you guys is called Fear Street Part 1, 1994. And this was a Netflix original film. It's part one of a trilogy. They all are set to be released on uh, Friday. Uh, this Friday will be part two on the 9th. And then the third part will be on the 16th of July. Um, and this movie uh, that was released on July 2nd, 2021, it is a slasher film that has a 6.2 out of 10 on IMDb, and it has a 82% on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, this movie was... Uh, Directed and co-written by Leah uh, Janiak and co-written by Philip uh, Grazides, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. <clears throat> and this is based on the book of the same name by R.L. Stein. And the movie stars Kiana Madaria, Olivia Welch, Benjamin Flores Jr., and Julia Raywald. Hopefully I'm pronouncing those correctly. Um, and this movie is about a group of kids um, who have to, um, uh, after a series of killings, have to figure out um, what uh, evil force is behind uh, these murders and what's behind the uh, uh, play that has uh, basically tortured their town for centuries, or I should say haunted their town for centuries. And with this, uh, these group of kids, uh, after a brutal murder uh, in a mall, they're all upset because they lost someone they knew. And with that, uh, it brings in the curse of the, the fire witch, which a lot of them don't really believe in. But after the henchmen are sent in, or as they're called, the undead killers, which I think the I think that trio is freaking awesome. Yeah, it's a trio of killers uh, for this witch, and it's freaking awesome. I love that part, especially the one. Um, that it's like a sackhead Jason, and yeah, it's it's pretty damn cool. Uh, I was really looking forward to this trilogy as soon as I they said they were making a trilogy and it's going to be a slasher trilogy and sort of you know supernatural. I was really excited for this, and uh, for the most part, it didn't disappoint. Uh, I like the kills. There's one kill in particular which I will get into here shortly. So if you haven't seen this movie, be warned that it will be a spoiler uh, when I deliver what the kill was, or my favorite kill was. So if you don't want to hear that, when I, or before I start to give you uh, the kill, uh, mute the uh, value, and when I'm done announcing it, or talking about it, I'll give the camera a thumbs up so you can turn the volume back on, okay? So you've been warned. But uh, yeah, this 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 movie was really good. I the kills, the characters um, are spot on. The writing and directing is fantastic. And I will say, uh, for the most part, this movie just really uh, keeps a uh, steady speed throughout the film. Uh, there are a couple of hitches here and there, and I will say the characters, um, most notably in the third act, uh, are kind of silly and goofy. But with that, you, you don't really get that with some slasher movies, especially these uh, these uh, newer ones, because they just don't know how how to do it like it was done, you know, back when I was growing up when we had the you know, we still have the classic franchises, but uh, for the most part, though, they did deliver, in my opinion, 
a really good slasher film. It's not perfect. It, it, it really does need some work. Uh, but for the most part, that would be, uh, you know, tightening up the characters. Uh, make it a little bit more serious, you know. Uh, I mean, unless they were going for comedy, I, I guess it would be all right. But for me, slasher movies, they just, they, they, they got to be just straight and narrow and just, you know, uh, I, I, can just, just, I can just do without the comedy when it comes to my slasher movies. Uh, but now, let's get to my favorite kill. So, again, you've been warned. If you haven't seen the movie, uh, mute your volume right now. And when I'm done uh, talking about it, I will give the camera a thumbs up so you can turn your volume back on. All right? My favorite kill in this first movie was the uh, bread slicer. When the girl's head gets pushed through the slicer, that... That was awesome. I loved, loved that kill. And uh, I actually rewound it a couple of times just to see it again. But uh, yeah, that, that was my favorite kill. And like I said, there are some really good ones in here. There are some, you know, average kills in here. But still, very good. Uh, I will say, though, I am looking forward to part two uh, out of all three movies because it looks like it's a tribute to the uh, old time uh, slasher films that I grew up watching and I'm really looking forward to that one. Uh, Fear Street Part 2 1978 which is the year I was born and uh, 19, 1978 uh, delivered one of the best actually the best slasher film of all time. Let me know in the comments section below if you know what that is. And uh, don't spoil it for anybody. But uh, if you know what the movie is, um, put the um, put the director's name in the comment section below if you know what movie I'm referring to. As far as the greatest slasher to ever be made, and from 1978, the year I was born. But other than that, Fear Street Part 1, 1994, was a really good slasher film. It did need some work. It's not a perfect movie, but still, I really enjoyed it. I love the undead killers, the, the fire witch, and I like the way it ended as well, because it sets up Part 2. Well, let me give the camera a thumbs up. There you go. We're done talking about that. Uh, but yeah, definitely check this movie out. It's on Netflix. The whole trilogy will be on there. Uh, if you want to wait and binge watch all three parts, uh, then wait till July 16th. Then you can do that. If not, if you're like me, I'm going to watch it whenever it comes out. So look forward to my review of part two on Friday because I will be watching it. But I will give Fear Street Part 1, 1994, an 8 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So in the comment section below, if you've seen it, give me your thoughts and opinions. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you like this review, hit that like button. But thanks again for watching, and check you later.